Hello! Well, you will remember in my last video, I talked about how I was falling in love with juicing after I bought the iCock Masticator juicer because it's very easy to use. Well, a couple of days after I bought that machine, I had a moment of epiphany. And it was like, how about I do a qualitative review of celery juice? So I set about doing that. So what you're about to watch in this video is the result of that journey. You're going to find out the effect of celery juice on bowel function the effect of celery juice on mental health, the effect of celery juice on sleep. I took things a step further. What else? Well, I also investigate what happens to exercise tolerance when you use celery juice. Does exercise tolerance get worse or does it get better? But that's not all. You're also going to know the effects of celery juice on blood pressure. Does celery juice increase blood pressure or does it reduce it or does it have no effect at all? And that's not all. I did something unique in this video. I had two blood tests to resolve an issue that is of concern to quite a number of people when they use celery juice. So you're going to know the results of those blood tests. And then I round up the video by giving you tips on how to get the best out of using celery juice. All of that is what's coming up shortly. You stay tuned and I'll see you in a couple of seconds. Now for today's 2020 idea to better health. Please welcome on stage Dr. Joe. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Joe of the 2020forum.com. Just before we continue, a quick announcement. The Wellness Forum, which is the 2020forum.com, is now open. If you've got high blood pressure problems, uh, if you've got any other wellness issues, it would be a good idea for you to sign up. The link to sign up is going to be right below this video. It's free to sign up and uh, we'd love to have you there. So let's continue. So this video is about celery juice experimentation. It's going to be a seven day celery juice experimentation. So what am I looking for? Well, I want to see the effect of celery juice on my general well-being. So that's the first thing. The second thing is because, as you know, I'm obsessed with using natural measures to control high blood pressure. I also want to see the effect of celery juice over the seven day period on my blood pressure. And how am I going to achieve that? Well, I'm going to stop using other natural measures that I use to control my blood pressure. And I'm going to rely solely on the celery juice. But of course, I'm still going to eat healthily and I'm still going to do some exercise as well. But all of the control measures that I have in place, I'm going to stop all of them. I'm going to discontinue them over the seven day period. So what else? Well, as it happens, uh, this morning I had a blood test for an unrelated problem. And one of the tests that was done was what we call urea and electrolytes. So I'm particularly interested in the electrolytes. So this is the result here. And what I'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to see the effect of celery juice on my electrolytes. So whether the celery juice is going to affect my electrolyte balance. Uh, because one of the things people worry about is the, uh, the fact that celery is a little bit salty. So they worry about celery may actually affect their sodium level. So what better way to confirm Confirm that than to have a pre uh, celery juice experimentation and when I complete the seven day trial uh, I will have a post celery juice experimentation I'm going to compare the two results to see whether my electrolytes are actually going to be affected or not so it promises to be exciting so uh, let's kick off uh, today is day one well I've got the celery here so that's quite a lot of celery. Now, how much juice am I going to be using? Well, 500 mils. So that's about 16 ounces. Okay, 500 mils, 16 ounces of celery juice. I'm going to be drinking every day over the next seven days. Wish me luck. Let's get started. So what are we going to use? Well, I've got my iCog Masticator Juicer. This is it here. It's a lovely tool that I just acquired a couple of days ago. Uh, of course, we've got the celery here. So you turn on the Masticator Juicer. That's it, it's gone, it's turned on now. So let's go. Remember we need about 500 mils, 16 ounces, okay? So there we go. 
This is uh, 600 mils. We have more than we need. So this is a 16 ounce glass, 500 mils. So I'm gonna pour what we need in here. So here we go. This is celery juice, uh, 16 ounces, 500 mils. So let's drink for day one. Let's drink. There we go. So I've just got in the one celery juice. Uh, I'm gonna do this now over the next seven days. I'll tell you how I feel on day three. So for completeness, I'm gonna check my blood pressure today on day one. So we know what our starting point is. Eventually, uh, we'll see what it is every day and uh, give you a feedback accordingly. So, what is our starting blood pressure? Let's see then. Okay, so it looks like our starting blood pressure is about 132.83. Okay, 132.83. That's what it is today. So this is day one, okay? And then we're gonna see what the blood pressure is gonna be like over the next seven days. I'll give you a feedback on day three and then day seven. So today is day three of the celery juice seven day experiment. And uh, yeah, we are just gonna get started. Later on tonight, I'm gonna give you feedback as to how I'm doing. So uh, let's uh, get the juice on the way. Turn on our machine and let's start juicing. And as you can see here, I'm also juicing the uh, celery leaves. I like that. I figured if you're gonna use the plant, might as well use the whole plant. So there we go, we finished juicing. So we got in here, let me get this out. This is about 600 mils, okay? Actually it's more than 600 mils. This is about 700 mils. So we need 16 ounces, as usual 500 mils, but I'm probably gonna drink all of it. So uh, let me pour this into the cup. Oh, this is a tricky one. So, this is 16 ounces, 500 mils. So let's gulp this down. Beautiful. So that's uh, 500 mils. So we still got about 200 mils in here. Let's not let it go to waste, so I'm gonna drink more. <laughs> so there we go. Bonus celery juice, um, extra. I got this done as well. Excellent. 
So the first time I did the filming on day one, when I drank it, I didn't really say anything about the taste. So I felt I needed to say something about the taste today. The taste is not actually bad. I would describe the taste as, uh, I mean, it is salty. There's no doubt about that. So it's almost like coconut water that is aromatized with celery flavor. That's the way I would describe it. It's salty, but it's, it's, it's great. I love it. So that's day three. Uh, and I'll talk to you this evening about how the experiment has been going so far. So here's what's happened in the last three days that I've been using the celery juice. I have to say my experience with it so far has been very positive. I've not really had any negative experience with it so far. Overall, it's been very good for me. One thing I've noticed is that um, it's actually very good for mood. It stabilizes your mood, uh, which is nice. And I suspect uh, celery juice may be a very nice remedy for anyone who's got anxiety issues because of the way it stabilizes one's mood and makes you quite calm. Um, I've noticed that I've been quite calm since I've been using it. So that's one positive experience. I don't know if that is just a coincidence, but I doubt it because uh, celery actually does have phytochemicals, you know, phytonutrients that are probably working at this level, at the level of the central nervous system. So um, I think there's a biochemical uh, explanation for that. There may be mileage there for use of celery juice for anxiety. Um, this is just a theory that I've come up with uh, and it will be up to you guys to prove it. Uh, if you've got any anxiety issues, you might use it and see whether you get any results as far as uh, anxiety control is concerned. So that is um, uh, something that I've noticed. Next thing I've noticed so far is that um, I do eat lots of oats, um, oatmeal that is. One little problem I have, and I have to apologize in advance for this because this is too much information. Um, I do have a little bit of um, wind issue when I uh, consume oats. And I've noticed in the last three days that um, I've not had that problem at all. Uh, so that's good. I don't know at what level that is working, um, whether the celery juice is actually altering my gut microbiome. I have no idea. But that's also another theory. Now, Talking about bowel issues, um, I noticed that um, some people who have used the celery juice in the past have talked about the fact that celery does give them the runs, I'm having uh, loose motions. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I've not had that problem at all. Not at all. None of that has happened to me. If you're somebody who experiences that, my advice would be to probably reduce the amount of the celery juice you consume. And if you recall today, I actually drank uh, uh, 700 mils, which is 23 ounces. <laughs> so that, that's quite a lot because normally I've been using 500 mils, uh, 16 ounces, but today I consumed 23 ounces and I've not had any problems with this so far. So yes, that's been my experience so far in the last three days. Uh, we're gonna see how things progress over the next four days. With that in mind, let's see what the blood pressure reading is gonna be like today. So BP cough is on. Let's see what reading we get today on day three. Okay, so here we go today. Uh, we've got 121.76, 121.76. That's the reading we've got today on day three, 121.76. Uh, this is better than yesterday because yesterday I got 133 over 77. So yeah, this is pretty good. I'm happy with that. Uh, this is with celery juice. So we're going to see how things progress over the next four days. Okay, see you on day seven. So here we are, day seven of the celery juice experiment. So let's juice. Turn on our machine. Let's go. There we go. We got our celery juice now. Uh, 
full jar. So time to uh, pour it into the glass. Always a tricky task. You can't really pour it without spilling it. So, 500 mils, day seven, there we go. So there we go, drank that. I'm just gonna finish all, okay? I'm gonna finish the remainder. So this is 700 mils, uh, 23 ounces for day seven. So that's it. I will talk to you later this evening. The sun is out. Uh, it's a rare thing in my neck of the wood. So I want to go out and uh, just have a bit of the sun. I'll talk to you later this evening about how the whole experiment has gone. See you later. So yes, like I said earlier on, I had to go out this afternoon because uh, the sun was out. Uh, you see, I live in a place where the weather isn't very great. In fact, Matt Walker, the sleep uh, guy, actually described the weather in my neck of the woods as a place where you've got nine months of atrocious weather and uh, three months of winter. <laughs> That's at 12 months of the year. It might be a slight exaggeration, but he's not far from the truth. Oh, you know, the sun is not always out here. So when we see the sun, we have to make the most out of it so uh, that's why i had to go out this afternoon and i have to say i enjoyed it so back to uh, celery juice uh, what's been going on in the last seven days i have to say this when i started this celery juice experiment i actually approached it with trepidation because uh, of some of the things I read regarding the bowel uh, side effect and um, I wasn't sure how I was going to deal with that but I have to say I never experienced any bowel side effects uh, like I said on day three uh, if you remember uh, if anything I had the exact opposite it's been great for my bowel so um, so that was good so what else? Well, I can also confirm, because I did say I was gonna observe it over the next couple of days, I can confirm that celery juice does have that calming effect on the body. Like I suggested then, there might be mileage in the use of celery juice for anxiety. If you've got anxiety, it's worth a try, okay? Just a suggestion. In fact, maybe somebody should actually do some research into this, uh, because I think there is some potential there. What else? Well, exercise tolerance. Let's talk about that. Did I notice any difference in terms of endurance uh, when I perform exercise activities? Well, um, there has been some difference, but I have to say the difference is not huge. Okay, so uh, exercise tolerance will improve with celery juice, but not by a huge margin. So uh, there is some benefit there. Uh, but don't expect too much, okay? That's what I would say as far as exercise tolerance is concerned when you use celery juice. Next, I want to talk about is sleep. You know, I am obsessed with sleep. So uh, when I do experiments like this, I like to see the effect of whatever agent I'm experimenting on, on my sleep. What have I noticed so far as far as celery juice and sleep, you know, is concerned? Well, I will say this. Celery juice does improve your sleep. There's no doubt about that. But what I also noticed is that when you use celery uh, with some other agent, for instance, the night I had kale, vegetable. Uh, kale is actually good for sleep on its own. So when there was that pairing between kale and celery juice, the sleep was out of this world. It was fantastic. Really, really fantastic. Also, something else I noticed was that when I paired exercise activity in the evenings with my celery juice, the sleep was fantastic as well. Awesome sleep. Exercise, as we know, is good for sleep. Now, when you then pair exercise with celery juice, bang, more sleep, okay? Uh, awesome sleep. So, evening exercise and celery juice, very good combination for sleep. That's the point I'm making. So yeah, it's been a fantastic experience so far. Now let's talk about blood pressure then. Let's see what my blood pressure is gonna be like today on day seven. Coffee's on, BP check, day seven.
we've got right so we've got uh, 11964 11964 okay 11964 pretty good I like to think um, so this is day 7 blood pressure reading so why would I have blood pressure readings like this uh, on account of the fact that I used uh, celery juice. Well, it's not a fluke because, uh, and I've done a video on celery before, and in that video I talked about the fact that celery actually has three ingredients uh, that are effective for blood pressure reduction. Uh, and they are 3 n thiolide, as well as magnesium and potassium. So all three ingredients in celery will actually work together to relax your blood vessel wall and when that happens your blood pressure will be lower am i surprised at this reading um i'm not uh, i mean look at that i'm not so next is going to be the blood results uh, i'm going to see whether the celery juice has had any impact on my electrolytes uh, that's what's coming up next and here they are these are the two lab results. The one on the left is the pre-result and the one on the right is the post cellular results. Now, why did I do these two lab tests? Well, I did them out of curiosity because some people have concerns that drinking celery juice, because the juice is salty, that is going to affect your sodium levels adversely. It's going to push your sodium levels through the roof. And I wanted to find out if that was true. So, what did I find out? So let's look at the two lab results. So this is the pre one. At the beginning of the experiment, my sodium level was 139, as you can see there. And at the end of the experiment, what was my sodium level? 138. If anything, it went down just a little bit. Now, but we will argue that, you know, they're essentially the same. Now, bearing in mind, I drank quite a lot of the juice uh, because in some days I actually drank 23 ounces of the juice, which is a lot my sodium levels were relatively unaffected by the uh, use of the juice. So for me, this is reassuring. And indeed, if you've got any such concerns, this uh, should also reassure you. And that is a classic example of how our bodies are quite efficient at dealing with natural ingredients compared to refined ingredients. So whereas our bodies can easily take care of the sodium you have in celery or celery juice, uh, it will struggle to deal with the sodium you have in table salt uh, because it is refined. So uh, that's just an example uh, there for you. The next thing I want to talk about is just to give you some tips on how to get the best out of this experiment. Uh, if this is something you want to undertake. Now the first thing is that uh, for you to get the 500 mils, which is the 16 ounces, you're going to need two bunches of the celery. Two bunches, okay? That's the first thing. Second thing I want to talk about is celery hygiene. And this is very important. Uh, if you're going to do this uh, in the medium to long term, you should wash your celery sticks individually. Don't wash a whole bunch together because if you do that, you're not going to get rid of the dirt. And more importantly, you're not going to be able to get rid of uh, possible pesticide contamination. You should assume the worst. You should assume that the celery you're buying is contaminated with pesticides, which means they need to be washed thoroughly. So wash each celery stick individually. Uh, pluck it off and wash it individually because of the risk of pesticide contamination, even if it's organic. The next tip I want to give to you is that, uh, and this is something that I did during the experiment, if you're going to do this, you're better off drinking the celery juice in an empty stomach. Don't drink it uh, along with your meals. So an empty stomach is a better strategy. That's what I found out uh, during the experiment. So those are just some nice tips for you to get the best out of this uh, uh, celery juice, uh, if that is something that uh, interests you. So hopefully you got some value from this video. If you did, as usual, please give this video a thumbs up. Please like the video uh, please share this video with everybody because I think we should be drinking celery juice unless we have some medical reason why we shouldn't be drinking it at all uh, because it's natural and uh, you know it does help your health uh, immensely if you got any questions any comments please leave them down below as usual subscribe if you haven't and please also click on the notification bell I think that's about it until next time well this is Dr. Joe signing out <laughs>